Hello and welcome to Infinity. I was asked about destructive versus non-destructive editing, so here's a piece about it and some of the things to watch out for and the decisions that you have whilst editing. So, first of all, um, what is it? Destructive editing means making a change to the picture that is pretty much permanent. Um, other than you can always undo things and Affinity Photo has a long history where you can go backwards and change things that, you know, go back and take things off and then put things back. You know, usual sort of undo stuff. Other than that, um, Affinity Photo has layers which lets you do things uh, and go back and change them later. Layers can be pixel layers where you've got things on and they're above and you're looking through them and so on. And in particular, it's got adjustments uh, that you can go back and readjust. So let's look at this first of all. Let's This picture here, first thing you might look at going, this sign here, we don't want to do this. So on here, you could go to here, the In Painting Brush tool and just paint over that. And it disappears. And if it's not done it, done it tidily enough, you could always use a clone. Uh, there's a dust bunny, click on that, and that disappears. Normally I would do those things destructively because I'm fairly confident in doing them. So confidence that you know what's going to happen uh, is important. And I'm not going to go back and going, I want to put it back again. So if I don't, not, don't think I'm going to want to change it, I'll do it straight away. If I wanted to do that destructively, so let's go back to our history and unwind that. What I would do is I would go to add a pixel layer above here. Then with the in painting brush tool here is this one here. You can click on current layer or current layer and below. It's the current layer and below you want. Because then you can still paint on the picture in exactly the same way. And that makes that disappear. You can click on things if it hasn't quite done it properly. There we go. But the correction is now on another layer. If I turn that layer off, look, there's the sign, it's still there. Click on that and take the other one off. There you are. So the change is made on a different layer. If I want to, to merge this downwards into that, I can right click on that, say merge down, and now it's done, it's just effectively destroyed the original sign there. So I can't go back and change it other than by undo. With layers, um, you can put in things. If I can just go to the layer menu up here. New adjustment layers. These adjustments are always done as additional layers, so non-destructively. And uh, so if I said I want to go do brightness and contrast, brings up this here. I can also get to them from down here. The adjustments here, exactly the same things. So I can now make an adjustment. Can turn the brightness up and play with the contrast a bit uh, and that's great. If I want to add another one of these by the way I've always got to have the image layer, the pixel layer there selected. So maybe I'll go down here and go to white balance and I'll adjust, make that bit a bit cooler there, just a little bit a few adjustments. And the thing about non-destructive work is that I could go back here again to the brightness and contrast and change that again. These three here, let me, if I click on delete, it will delete that layer, just take away that adjustment. Reset simply pushes these back to the middle as they were before and merge, this makes a destructive change. So I click on the merge and there you are, see it's disappeared from here, but the change is not, it's kept the change in the original image, uh, but I can't now go back and change it. So that can be quite an important thing. So I could do the same with this, click on that, merge, and I've now got all those changes done destructively. Now suppose I go up here, saying let's have a look up here, let's make this a bit sharper. I can do this, the sharpening I can do in two ways up here. Sharpening is via the filters. I can go up here, sharpen, and if I said unsharp mask, this is destructive. See, there's no layer being put in there. Or I can go to layer, new live filter layer, sharpen, 
and say Unsharp Mask. I can do it from there, or I can go from this double triangle here. Exactly the same thing is in here. There you go up there. Now say let's do some sharpening, turn up things here, and um, I might go, oh, that's, that's, that's you know, maybe a bit too sharp there, but however what I want it to be. But I start looking at this going, oh, look, there's noise. So what I can do now is go, let's do some denoising. So let's go down here, go to the denoise filter, and play around with this. However, I've had made the noise worse with the sharpening, so it would be better to do the, the denoising first. But look at the order that it's in. It's in, it does the unsharp, it does it from the bottom upwards here. So it does the sharpening first and then the noise. I can take that noise, drag that down here. Now it's happening before the sharpening. So with the non-destructive method, you can now move this up here and it's a lot easier. See how you can quickly smooth off that background and then it's doing the sharpening afterwards. So that's another thing about the non-destructive method is you can reorder things. I can do this first and then that one afterwards. So there you go. There's a number of things about sharp about um, sharpening and noising, and but most of all, there's things about um, being destructive and non-destructive. By and large, I will always use non-destructive things until I, uh, unless I am very confident that I'm never going to go back again and I know what I'm doing. The other thing, of course, is that is if you're going to save it, if I do file save. Um, here, because it starts as a JPEG, it says here, do you want to say flattened? Because it'll basically make those effectively destructive. But if I say save as, it'll normally save me as a .af photo file in which it keeps those layers there. And that means I can reload it and it'll still have the layers and there'll be, in fact, you still got the same non-destructive approach. You can re-edit it. Right, that's enough. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.